So I was like, you know what? How about instead of going somewhere else, because we still got to finish that John Cena, Jackie Chan movie, and it's already like 930, why don't we just stop by this liquor store and get a couple of Lucy's and just go back to the Days in and watch a movie. 22 minutes of a movie. Yeah. And she goes, yeah, that sounds like a, g- a good idea. So we go into this place, right? And it's kind of a crowded, oldy liquor store. You know, it's wooden everywhere and shit. And there's a, an older woman at the register who I'm assuming is the proprietor, the owner of the shop. And she's having some issues with uh, re- putting the credit card paper into the machine. And so she yells, I think his name was Robert or something. She yells at the, the the, this guy it was fucking robert longstreet wasn't it no that would have been good what it i guess it would be sad <laughs> maybe he's visiting his mom maybe and so she's like get over here and he comes over there and she doesn't have him really do anything other than put the person in front of me's bottles in a bag while she's trying to figure out how to put the pa- i thought she called him over to do the paper yeah it makes sense right so we get up then and and she's kind of ready and he's just standing there because now he's on her side, on the side where you can't just leave. He, she needs to actively move for him to leave, and she's not doing that. And I'm just like, oh, hey, what's up, man? And I look, I notice he's got like a pretty lazy eye. He's a little disheveled, and he's wearing like a bowling shirt. And I go, that's a pretty sweet shirt. And he goes, oh, thanks. You know, and he touches it and reveals that not only is it missing a button, but he's like skipped a button. And so it's just like all folded out and shit. And he goes, yeah, you know, it's missing a button i go oh that gives that's what gives it its charm and all of a sudden this younger guy comes in who i think is the store owner's son you got all sorts of narratives going in your head about what's happening and he just goes to the guy robert get it go back to work what right i'm like are they keeping this man (laughs) do you read about the paper sometimes i mean he seemed a little slow that was implied you didn't have to say it out loud well i'm reiterating now they know it's a mean story (laughs) I felt kind of bad, you know? Yeah. And I just paid and got out of there. Are you... This is the end of the fucking story? Yeah. I didn't <laughs> save him or anything. <laughs> I got time for that shit. I'm Jason. And I'm Jules. And we, we do doing filmographies. filmographies. On the 11th day of pits, Miss My True Love gave to me... Too young to die. Basically a TV movie, but it's horrible because it makes you feel bad. And Brad Pitt dated Juliet Lewis when he was 10 years older than her. And many more. Yeah, that's... Ooh. You mentioned it in a previous episode. When I had the robot says, Juliet Lewis. Yeah, she was... Boy, she was really gyrating in this movie. That was some crazy hip action. Wasn't it? Like, not just the... the I mean, the, the execution was flawless, but the speed. The speed with which she was gyrating. What is up with that? I don't know. It was frightening. I gotta tell you, I used to not... This, You know, it's the same thing that we always talk about here. I used to not like her because I saw her in Cape Fear first. Have you seen Cape Fear? No. I've gone on record as having not seen that movie. And I'm sure I spoke of this exact same scene where Robert De Niro slips his thumb in her mouth Mm -hmm. and she's got those big dumb eyes. So that's how I always saw her. Now I think she's pretty good. Because of the way of the gun. Oh yeah, that's true. I also thought she seemed kind of cute in this. Like... Yeah, she's... Is that a wig? I don't know. Sometimes there'd be like a side profile and I'd be like, man, you would be pumped that this was your girlfriend. You'd be yeah. like, this girl's cool. Boy, it's kind of psychotic though that they really got like a 15 year old to play this part. Is she 15? 14? 15? She's 17 playing 15. Okay. I thought, they say she's 14 in the movie. 14 going on 15? A few she's times. 15 when she's in jail. He says She said she's 14 going on five. This is a real mean spirited movie. Yeah, this is a real lonely lady kind of movie. Is this is this much worse? Is it based on a true story? No, it, uh, no, because at the end they don't say that. Yeah, they would instead not. they're like, "Hey, fourteen-year-olds uh, can be killed in jail now," and there's like twenty-eight on death row. But we have outlawed the hammer. They used yeah. to use the hammer to put them down. Right. If you're under eighteen, you get the hammer. Mm-hmm. Which you know. Is worse waste? No, I don't think so. (laughs) So, yeah, this movie, I I didn't get my notes out. Oh, dang, you got some notes? Yeah, rated R, 1990, one hour, 32 minutes long. So this came out in theaters? No, this was a TV movie. For like Showtime or HBO or something? God, that's a tough call, right? Because it's, well, there's no... There's swears. Is there? There's like shit and fuck, yeah. That's when I was like, oh, it's not just a Yeah, maybe there was. It, it said TV movie, and it was directed by Robert Markowitz, who had directed a ton of TV movies and specials and shows. 
He was born in 1935. So he's like right around, he's just under 60 when he makes this? Yeah, okay. he's like 55. That really likes making Juliet Lewis spin around on stage up there? Yeah, boy. Hips, hips gotta be faster. Pretend ah. you're on a, a dick and you want it to come. That should not be in the pocket. I felt like this was California, yeah. but it also seemed like she should be from like Arkansas or something. Oh, she, I thought oh Wyoming. Meant, That's where she's from, right? I thought you meant the movie California, because I think it's so no. crazy that they were in two movies where there's scuzzballs uh, within a few years. B- book ending their relationship. Yeah. Because they break up after that. Her boobs are in California. So is the rest of her, from what I hear. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, this was filmed in Taft, California, though. I don't think they ever actually mention where she ends up, where she meets Bobby. Is that his name? Is that... BP? Yeah. I think they do. It's not like Kansas City. I know it's not. Billy. Uh, no, because she says her trailer, I think, is in Wyoming, but she sounds like a country bumpkin, but it feels like LA. Now. Is that her? I do it. Now. No, not again, Henry. <laughs> yeah. That's transfixed. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, she uh, she was 16 when she met Pit Boy, and he was 26, and they dated, and, and everybody was totally fine with that <laughs> i'm getting over here drinking drinks yeah about their ages mm-hmm. yeah i don't i mean it's not good it feels like that's something that you can do if you're living in taft california but not something you should do if you're an adult male in like the limelight like right now yeah oh, yeah got me my 60 year old girlfriend <laughs> i'm in jail we write letters Plus, god i don't i don't want to get into it i guess maybe they didn't have sex what do you think it would have been that she's just so cool. I mean, I think she is probably pretty cool. Okay. I think I think she's. Ugh, I don't like how I sound. Um, I think she was probably pretty cool. I think she's probably super dedicated to her craft because she comes swinging hard in this movie. She does. When I, she slaps herself. Okay. 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 Holy I, shit! I feel like I can kind of see why there would be a spark, but you just can't. The age thing just—it's it, uncomfortable. It's weird because. Uh, he looks so old in this movie. So much older. Bro, I fucking watched this thing on YouTube. I had a Blu-ray on my computer and I forgot about it. <laughs> and then when yeah. I fired it up just to take a peek, I was like, oh my God, I can really make out features. This is not how it was for me. But he seems old. Like prime pit age. And I guess he is in his late 20s at this point, but then you see him in a cross- a movie like Across the Tracks. Oh, yeah, and he seems like he kind of like a, a child. high schooler. Yeah, and you're like, holy Christ. Well, I mean, they dirtied him up. He's doing a character. He doesn't get to I do get these that. characters very often. But boy, I don't like his voice. No friend when you see one? Other than that, I think he's pretty good. I think he's fucking awesome. I this. feel like he's um, planting the seeds for the flower that will blossom and snatch. Fred, what is my kindness for the horses? You know? I was quite impressed with him in this i thought he was so good i did not think uh the guy michael was that good caddyshack yeah and and roseanne he felt incredibly sinister at first oh yeah yeah yeah. you yeah. know i thought he was definitely gonna rape her that first night and then when he brings her home he seems like a a real uh dominic type and then and then i'm like oh he's in the army and then i'm like later on i'm like oh he's actually kind of seems like a normal guy with paulie shore yeah, but it was in the army then. Okay. Unfortunately, <laughs> the worst of the two. Do we synopsize? Yeah, because you, I'm just you know wasting time waiting for you to. Too young to die. Teenage country simpleton Amanda Sue Bradley Juliet Lewis gets abandoned by her asshole trash can mother, who became enraged by jealousy after Amanda Sue revealed that the man married to her mother has been raping her for months. Amanda is then abandoned by her new husband Buddy Thornton, Michael Tucker, a human howdy doody doll. With nowhere to turn, Amanda meets waitress Jean Glessner, Emily Longstreth, no relation to Robert Longstreet, a would-be compadre and older sister figure, and asshole redneck human black hole Billy Canton, Brad Pitt, Amanda's will-be life destroyer. Just when Amanda Sue, or Brandy for short, finally thinks she has found her pedophile savior in army suitor Mike Medwicky, Michael O'Keefe, a.k.a. Caddyshack, a.k.a. Roseanne, Billy comes up the works and drives her back into his arms, where once there, Billy drives a needle into hers and gets her caught up in a drug-fueled murder that lands Brandy in hot water like a hot dog, pondering the question, is 14 too young to die? She's mm-hmm. 15. They, 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 15 they in say, jail they say 14 though but when she's talking to her lawyer it's like you turn fi- you're 15 she's like yeah oh when 15. you talk to your lawyer you turn 15 <laughs> well no he was talking to her about her being 15 oh uh, i don't know who cares because it's a year later that I, she's in jail is it 
She's in jail for one year? No, from like when they say she's 14, when her uncle this entire her stepdad's movie raping her. feels like a lifetime, but only takes place in the matter of like one two year. weeks. It seems like, because like the whole time she's dancing, that's one week. How do you know that? Because he goes, why didn't you quit after that first night? And she goes, well, they don't pay you till Friday. Well, that doesn't mean she quit on Friday. Well, she's still dancing, so I'm assuming she's still dancing so that once Friday gets there, she'll get money for it. I don't know, dude. I don't think so. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> so let's, this movie let's starts, rock and roll. she's got Owen Wilson hair, and her mother, her mother's husband, uh, he's raping her. It's pretty awful. Yeah, it's terrible. I think you see it coming a mile away, the mom leaves to go do something, he's like, oh, you're looking pretty nice over mm-hmm. there. Blah! Yeah, because she goes, hey, mama. Th- Thanks for my sweets. Because it's Christmas. He goes, what the hell are you doing with candy? You're 14 and will be. The entire time we see you in this film. (laughs) Uh, You look like a woman, though. Hey, I'm going to get in on that. No, you know, it's I'm glad they cut it. I mean, she is screaming. No, right. That's you get you get some of that. It's it's just a feel bad, feel bad scene. It's that Julius Julius that Juliette Lewis guttural sort of scream she does. Much like in uh, her band, that Wildcat is that the name of her band? I don't know. I'm too hung up on Jada Pinkett Smith's rock band to. Oh, that's the one called Wildcat. <laughs> but she does it in in Way of the Gun during the birthing scene when he's like, "I'm gonna take that baby," and she goes, "Nah." And so she goes, "Hey, Mama, your your boy's been raping me, and I really would appreciate it if you told him to stop." And she goes, "You little slut! They can't do anything to you that you don't want them to do. You stop that lying." Girl, I haven't been married even a year. Men don't stray that soon unless they got a good reason. How dare you hot dog around here wagging your little keister, luring my man away. She goes, Mama. She's right. She's right. Why is she seducing that guy? <laughs> yeah, right. With all of her nose and please don't stop it hurts. It's right. Like, what is a guy supposed to think? I mean, him just slobbing around that house, <laughs> looking like a bunch of nothing. Yeah. How could you turn that down? Because uh, in the beginning, her mom even goes like, you are going to have to make your own breakfast this morning because your stepdaddy woke up drinking beer again. Man, it's a real bad sign people are drinking in the morning. Mm-hmm. Uh, we talk about this a lot, but early day drinking, we're like, that's not good. No, no. Especially if it means no dinner hours later in the day. She's like, Basically, like, shut the hell up. If he's going to rape you, he's going to rape you, but I don't want to hear about it because we, we got plans. People always used to say that. Me and him, we got plans. What kind of plans? You already got a kid and you live somewhere. What kind of plans you got? Right. You guys got I mean, jobs? I've got plans. I'm never going to follow through on them. Yeah, so she ends up having a boyfriend who's a real dim-witted mule man. And he's like 18 and she's 14? Yeah. Pretty cool. He goes, I'm going to graduate from high school, and then my mama wants me to go into the army. But Hell, I want to marry you, Mandy. You do? Well, yeah. I love you. And she goes, really? So they get married, and they start living in a house together. They buy a house, you reckon? Or are they renting it? They probably must be renting it. Must be. And we jump forward maybe two months, and yeah. they're really cold because she didn't buy extra blankets. Because they don't have any money. Or heat, yeah. And he goes... Why didn't you get the blankets? And she goes, well, you didn't give me any money. Why'd you get a job, bitch? I mean, he's not wrong. No, but at the same time, you know, she's a 14-year-old. I mean, you did talk her out of not being in school. (laughs) Yeah, and she's probably too young to legally work anywhere. Good point. When does this take place? 80s. The time time frame it came out. Somewhere around there, yeah. yeah. So he just leaves her. Yeah, dude, leaves her a mean note. Yeah, you dummy. Go back to your mama. Mm-hmm. I'm through with ye. But she's already discovered that her mom has absconded with her, yep. her husband, the she rapist. She gone. The mm-hmm. trailer empty. She gone, girl. Mm-hmm. And she ain't coming back. That's not a song. And so she but, ends up on the mean streets of Bad Town. Maui. <laughs> she swam all the way there. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and boy, are her arms tired. Yeah, she goes into a bowling alley and calls her mama. And uh, goes up to the waitress like, "Hey, you think I can like just do some work to, to get something to eat?" I'm real, real hungry. Show sure I am hungry. <laughs> You're Chris Rock. <laughs> yeah, and Brad Pitt's in there, and he goes, "Well, hell down." Hey man, you look pretty good over there. That's not. He says, "Well, hey girl, I'm Billy." <laughs> Rough out there, ain't it? it? Sure is. Come in on the bus. I hitched. 
No. I was looking for my husband at the army base. You just guys had a kid or something? Why about me get you somewhere to work? And the waitress goes, y- you shouldn't do that. Get the fuck away from this guy. He's bad news. I'm going to give you a hamburger. Look at his dirty ass fingers. Look at that rolled cigarette that's almost gone that he's still attacking. Guy keeps talking about caravans and shit. Looks like he's probably got little nub teeth that are filthy. Yeah. And she's an idiot. So he goes, how about I get you out of here? You know, She goes, oh, okay. And they go to a strip club. And he goes, now all you got to do is dance. Get 60 bucks. 60 bucks. She goes, uh, what? I don't want to wear this. Nah, it's totally fine. Um, mm, okay. All right. And she goes out and she's just standing there. I don't know what to do. Get off the stage. You suck. My erection is subsiding forthwith. You know? And so she runs away. Fuck you all. Go to hell. See, bad words. She doesn't say fuck you. She does say go to hell, though. And bad, she just, bad word. Instead of running back to the dressing room. She runs outside basically naked. She's got a string, almost like a string bikini on. Yeah. Princess Leia. Just runs into the street. No Cinnabons on her head, though. No, and and uh, Brad Pitt comes out. How are you going to get anywhere if you let these fawn boys get to you? And you're not a kid anymore, so stop acting like that. You're a big girl now. You got air like it. You're the dog now. You got to live like in the dog. I ain't going to make shiny Oklahoma. You're going to get up there. I got you with that long old blade. Put this in your mouth. This I have sex with Harley Berry. It's going to make you feel good. You eat this pill. Yeah, and so he, he does do just that, in fact. Got something for you? What is this? It's good. Just like you. I'll make you dance like ginger Rogers. And she's just, you know, looted out of her mind. She goes up there and fucking rocks out. Yeah, it's like she's on fucking, I don't know, a music video for The Doors at a you know, Brooklyn rock concert or something. She's just whoa, whoa, doing like the Matrix. She's going so fast, <laughs> gyrating and gesticulating. And Yep, the stage catches fire because she's gyrating so fast. Yeah. It starts a little fire. Her little license plate falls off and spins around and says it's out of time. And, and everybody's, whoa, she's starting a revolution in my pants. I want, I want her. Huh? <laughs> I'm a, I guess, pedophile. Reminds me of my daughter. And the guy at the club, he's pissed, but he's cool about it because she dances eventually. Here's your hundred bucks. Yep. Uh, giving her 60. Yep. And I guess he does, but he doesn't. Well, I don't know. Actually, he probably gets a hundred for bringing them in. Then she must get her fee too. Cause he says, I give you a hundred for per girl. For bringing in them girls. Man, and that's then a lot he of tells money. her she's going to get. 60. 60. Do they, are they not throwing money on the stage? They are, so I don't know where that plays in. I think that it goes back to the business, which made me think, Julian. No, those are yours. But not if they're giving her 60 bucks. I think usually, I don't know if they pay you much. I think you just work for them tips. True. You and me. Yep. We're going to start up a strip club, and we're going to take advantage of Down people. Down here. And we're going to pay them $23 an hour. You already got a poll. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. And we'll just take all their tips. And get them high on drugs? They have to do that on their own. They're okay. $20, $23 an hour. Yeah, yeah. Put a mattress in the corner. You sleep there. And so... She's all dizzy she's, afterwards. He's like, get her a beer. Just kidding. We're leaving. See, now, throughout all of this, she's arrested at the beginning of the movie. And and and, and we're, this is the flashback, right? And to she's where it jail. all went wrong. To yeah. where it all went wrong. And, and, you know, her lawyer is like, oh, shit, girl, I'm your public defender, you know? That guy looks so familiar, but I never really pegged what he's from. I think of him as another guy, the guy who was in something. But she's like, what am I going to get out of here? You know, you go, well, yeah, I want it for murder. I, but I didn't do nothing. Ask Molly. Oh, so, yeah. I'm like, no, no. She said, you know. Yeah, you did it. She wasn't even there. Why? Why'd she say that? Because, oh, you, you know, everybody in town, including my wife, thinks she did it. Why? Because I did it? Yeah. <laughs> And then he, he goes, well, I'm going to get out of here. I got to go look at the evidence. And she goes, can you bring me back some chocolates that are candied? You're you're 15 now, right? So M&M's. Can- yeah, candy covered chocolates. Jesus Christ. And he goes, damn, this this is a child. A 15-year-old child. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Turning 18 next week. So he goes, well, why the hell? Or what, what? He brings her the candy and he goes, well, tell me what's going on. And she goes, well, I you know, killed him. It was fun. We moved in together, and then, wait a second, you moved in together? You and Billy? I thought you were trying to get away from him. That's the whole case. And she goes, oh, no, we, we moved in together because I didn't want to keep sleeping in his car because he's sleeping in the back of a station wagon that has no window on the tailgate. Yeah. And it's raining out. It's pretty great when he tries to bring her in there. 
He does. He's like, I, nah, I don't want to go in there. Yeah, no, we're going to lay next to each other. Yeah, totally fine. No, I'm going to go. Get in there. Well, she goes, I'll get in the front. He goes, what? No. You're my blanket. I get you a job, place to stay. Can't you tell I care about you? Yeah, I do. Then get in the back of the car, darling. I'm sorry. I can't do that. And, but she comes back and stays with him. Isn't so, that such a bummer when you, you realize he lives in this car? Yeah. I, I would have assumed, if anything, he was homeless, not living in a car, but that's it's somehow much worse. A than flop just, house or something. He's just got a station wagon a block over that he sleeps in every night. Mm-hmm. This he goes, I got you a room. It's like, what are you... I guess drugs is what he's doing with the money. Right. But. He's, he's got to be a drug addict. Mm-hmm. He's a real low life, And so she goes, well, we got an apartment, and I kept dancing, you know, because it was... I don't know, whatever. I get the money or something. and She does sort of become friends with the waitress a little bit. They're like best friends. What are you talking about? But you don't really see it. It's no, just, you don't it's get there. it much, but clearly their relationship is very strong when they're chatting. True. They're like sisters. Yeah, and then when, they, when she's dancing, Caddyshack is there. Yeah, looking scary. Because she goes into the bar. She's a total Darla at this point. She goes into the bar, and the guy goes, Billy's looking for you. Uh Uh-huh, I can see that happening. Tell Billy to look for her life. And he he goes, he looked awfully upset. She goes, that sounds about right as well. And then he comes up like, hey, what the hell? She seems pretty cool. Where'd you go? I'm Billy. You kind of like her vibe at this point? Yeah, she's like She seems like like she's coming to her own. Yeah, Yeah. I like it. She's kind of a boss. You you get a very small window in which she's doing okay. Mm -hmm. And, you know, she talks some lip and Billy slaps her. And Caddyshack punches the fuck out of him. Yep. And then mushes his face in a bowl of popcorn. He goes, you don't hit women, you fucker. Unless they deserve it. Of course. <laughs> of course. Like, unless maybe they say something you don't like. Right. Or like, you know, okay, correct you, you when you pronounce something inaccurate. Right. Or tell their friends about your itty bitty pee pee. Mm-hmm. Right. And then he goes, oh, all right, I'm going to get out of here. And he slinks away. It doesn't qualify as a micro penis. Quit saying it's a micro penis. It's just very small. <laughs> it's not micro. And he watches her dance. And he goes to this guy, hey, what's her deal? She's 14. I can just picture my dick bouncing around in there the way she's moving those hips. (laughs) So he goes, all right. That's not funny. No, no. Please stop. Oh, God. (laughs) And he goes, all right, Juliet Lewis, I'm going to get you some food. How about that? And she goes, yeah, okay. Like like a pinball. (laughs) He goes, really? just bouncing off the springs. (laughs) Ding, 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 ding. Uh-huh. Because the the hips move so fast. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Okay. I'm sorry. And he I'm, goes, oh, better yet, why don't you come to my house and I'll make you food. I'm not sorry. She goes, oh, okay. Make food. I know what you want. And she's like, wow, your place is totally tubular. And he goes, I know. Is it time to play pinball? My wife left me. Uh, I'm in the army and I have two children. Look at their stuffed animals are on the floor. And I want you to live here. But I'm keeping my hands to myself. I don't mess with kids because you're a kid. I don't want to have sex with you. Even though pinball sounds pretty good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and she goes oh okay word and she kind of becomes like his nanny yeah. live in nanny it's cute and the kids live in nanny too you know but quickly we'll find out the problem with bringing in runaways and letting them stay at your house yeah if you're a weak idiot because she does something billy calls and threatens and then Correct. he's like billy i'm gonna fucking kill you if you call here again mm-hmm. is his name billy mm-hmm. okay and she shows up in her nightie in his room. She's like, I'm so scared of him. Well, will yes. You, will you hold my... Can I... Yes. Can I nuzzle my face in your pit? And he goes, sure. Yeah. Uh, I guess. And then she just makes a move on him and he's like, all right. And then like the door closes and you're... Bing, 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 <laughs> Bull <laughs> tilt. And, and so then like they're in his yard playing with the kids one day and some army guys walk by and they look at her and she goes, oh, those guys... We're at the club, and fucking Caddyshack, he's just like... Hits her with a shovel, starts digging the hole? Yes, I'm a big man. Oh. Puts his arm around her, you know, and then next day he's at work at the army, and a guy calls him in, and he goes, yes, sir, what's up, sir? Oh, God, I'm in trouble for housing and sleeping with a 14-slash-15-year-old. Is that not cool? Should we have continued to pretend that we weren't having sex in front of everybody like we yeah. weren't before? I mean, it's the army. Like, 60% of the people in here are inbreed racist rednecks who have sex with their family. 
Yeah. So what's the problem? That's the number. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking, I thought you were gonna go with the uh, uh, spouse beaters. Well, that's the other sixteen percent. Sixty and then sixteen equals a hundred. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Don't even get me started. Do you follow Terrence Howard? <laughs> You're turned on to his math. Yeah. And uh, so he goes, "Oh, Brandy, I gotta throw you out. They gotta put me in jail. I'm fucked." <laughs> <laughs> You gotta understand. I got two kids. They're gonna put me in jail. I pointed at everybody in jail's dick and laughed. So if I go in there, they're gonna fuck me up. She goes, well, what the hell am I supposed to do? I'm sorry. Pinball one more time. Mm-hmm. Ding, 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 ding. And she ah, and she slaps herself. And now she's back at the bowling alley yeah. <laughs> of all fucking places. Good place to go. It's the only phone in town, apparently. Man, that waitress really... When she walked in there, she's like, this is a bad place. Mm-hmm. You should not be here. Yeah. Can you can you picture this? I feel like things have changed a lot the last 30 years, man. Sure. Are there still scary bowling alleys with scary guys? <laughs> I feel like scary guys don't bowl anymore. I think pool halls are still a little bit of a thing. I mean, you'll probably get some pushy guys and some rednecks and racists, but... They're really there to bowl and yeah. not trick trick girls out right not trying to trick a hoe that's more of like a greyhound station <laughs> yeah you know and he sees her immediately he's bowling and he goes you think he's good hey no <laughs> hey brandy ah you know it goes around comes around hey you know and she goes you told on him <laughs> yeah because i need you in my life i love you brandy i'm the only one who loves you she runs out the street out of the building onto the street and then down it and he's giving chase and she's screaming like bloody murder and nobody seems to really care and he's pushing her up against the wall nobody nobody seems to care and he goes hey take some of this stuff and she goes i don't want it it's drugs and he goes tough tough shit we're going upstairs and he just happens to have a room in the building where you enter via the door that's right next to them very convenient isn't it and he starts getting her uh, high on heroin nice and she's just not feeling too bad no more she's feeling quite the opposite yeah and uh, at this point well no i'm sorry before that moments before that she ha- she gets banged in an alley by a guy up against the wall and he just gives her like money i, I wonder if i wasn't paying attention she had on like hot pink pants so then they go because she's tricking now so then they go up to the room and he gets her high on heroin intravenously and then he starts amping her up like, you know what? We should go fuck Michael up for dumping you. I say, I say we go get him. We just make him pay. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Have a cat, you know. You didn't mention how he like slaps her in the face and puts his finger around her neck. He's like, yeah, let me get her, kill you. Oh, that's right. He, he did do and say that. And, and in the future um, slash present, yep. uh, the attorney's really starting to bond with her. And feel a familial sort of um, connection. Right. It cuts back to them just eating chocolates and giggling. Yeah. You know, they're reading Tiger Beat. Yep. You know, what do you think about Josh Hartnett? No, he wouldn't He wouldn't be around back then. What the fuck? You, what, you couldn't pick somebody from the 90s? What do you think about Christian Slater? Well, oh, he claims the cue ball, right? Damn, Corey Haim's really up and coming. <laughs> I see good things ahead for him. Yep. Nothing but good things. Charlie Sheen. Wow, he's never going to have AIDS. <laughs> no you know what happens after she has sex and she gives billy the money he goes hey i got a surprise for you jesus christ that's real gross when you say it like that do it again i got a, I got a surprise for you i and like he, it it's like he's here and he covers up her eyes walks her a few feet and then he opens up her eyes and it's michael walking down, down the street with his adult woman girlfriend and he goes brandy is he like an evil magician is he fate is he death Who, uh, he's got some powers what part of town are they in where she can get banged in an alley and then they're just casually walking down the street oh shit caddyshack's got an appropriately aged girlfriend yeah he's really turned himself around and well, dodged the bullet only a couple more years till he starts beating Lori metcalf mm-hmm. roseanne and dan gotta come down like a hammer yeah they do and they swap and so then he goes, damn, girl, uh, you need help or whatever? And she goes, um, no. What do you care, micro peener? She hasn't seen it yet. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, okay. And he upscons with her and he goes, don't you ever fuck with her again or I'll fuck you up. He says that to Caddyshack? Something like that, yeah. But Caddy, 
Caddyshack. Oh boy. Okay. And and so now they're back at the place and they're doing the dope, and that's when he goads her into a Charles Manson little scenario. Right. They're doing shots, swallowing bullets, screaming, "Fire it up! Mm-hmm. Fire!" It's not funny to do that anymore. No, no, please. Okay. <laughs> Christ, so they all of a sudden it's natural born killers. And they go to Michael's house and they just walk right in and he gives her a little knife and they p- p- confront Michael in bed with his adult female wife, girlfriend. What the hell is this? Look, if you two want to talk, I'll leave. What do you want? Your blood, soldier. And uh, get out of bed, Turco, and they tie him up and she's in her nighty. My kids are in here. Oh, no. And I'm like, oh, God, is he going to try to rape her, Billy? So. Initially, yeah, like Brad Pitt's on the girl, uh-huh. and he's got the knife to her throat. Yep, Juliet Lewis is just kind of standing there in front of Caddyshack. Yes, with a knife. Right, his two kids are sleeping. Mm-hmm. I said to Jenny that I think you just gotta kill Brad Pitt and Juliet Lewis, even if they kill your girlfriend, because your kids are in the other room. Mm-hmm. I think that's the. I mean, what the fuck? I think you risk it. Lunge at Juliet Lewis. Yeah. Because Brad Pitt's probably going to toss the woman aside uh-huh. and try to jump in. And then you can at least tell her, get the kids and get out of here while you tussle with them. And maybe you die. Yeah. You know, but. I'm pretty sure you could take out You could knock her Lewis. out with, you could just blow on her. She'll fall over. You're going to hit her? You're not just going to take that knife and just stick her in the neck? No, I'm going to kick her in her cunt. <laughs> uh-huh. I was thinking I'd just kill them both immediately. No, no. Yeah. I mean, if she's got a knife on you, I'd punch her in her face, put her down. Uh-huh. And then when he comes at you. Slit her throat and spray his face with the blood. Yeah. And then he can't see. Right. And then you give him a little slushy slush. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Um, but that doesn't happen. They tie him up and they take them in their van via hostage situation. And you know what they always say? You're not going to die if you go to a second location. Always go <laughs> in the to middle a second of nowhere. location. Yeah. But there is a moment where she runs into the room to check on the kids and covers them, like tucks them in. Your daddy's a bitch. I love you. She says something like, my babies. So I'm like, oh no, are they going to try to come back and like take the kids then? So they go out to like some sort of an oil refinery. They could give them a better life, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, oil derricks everywhere, Just, pumping out of the ground. Yeah, and, and, and Caddyshack's tied up i guess quite efficiently because he's not free he's fucking whatever he doesn't seem to care yeah and i think they just let the lady run away she yeah well i think brad pitt goes up to him and starts duking on him and juliet lewis has the knife on the lady and she just like starts to run away and julius is like and juliet lewis is like "Ah, ah. hey why are you running or whatever so then she comes back and now she just starts stabbing caddyshack and slicing on his throat yeah Brad Pitt's like, yes, excellent. Uh, is he? I think he's also like, oh, this is oh. fantastic. Oh, I think this is not good. And they run out of there, and uh, Caddyshack is dead. And Caddyshack's girlfriend comes over there. She comes She's back. Like, hey, Ca- Caddyshack. Uh huh. You had such promise, Caddyshack, and you're over here not really emoting much. Mm hmm. You. you're dead and they start you know driving away across country in the in the van juliet lewis wakes up her hands are all bloody and she doesn't seem to recall what happened and they stop somewhere oh they go back to her mama's trailer yep but she isn't there but the neighbor is and he's happy to see her why would she go back there she's already been gone she was supposed she thought she came back i don't know and, but he's like, hey, nice to see you, you know? And she's like, yeah, yeah, you too. And and she's about to say, can you help? And Brad Pitt cuts her off. And he goes, oh, what, what was that? What was that, Amanda? What did you say? Uh, nothing, man. You want to get some beers? No, no, no. But what did she say? Shut up. Let's get some beers. Oh, he's from Boston. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. And so they go to the beer store. What kind of dialect do you speak in there, sir? Is it toilet? <laughs> yeah. It's potty. It's French. Uh, and so they get to the beer store and they got a, a really unflattering sketch of each of them in the newspaper about the murder and uh, he makes the guy buy the beer because he doesn't have any money um i mean i forgot my one where you covered in beers and they get outside and it goes oh that's the second time i saw it and it's a squad car so brad pitt gets in and they start driving and the cops are coming at him and they you know stop him and Brad Pitt gets out of the car. He goes, I, she uh, tricked me. 
uh, and confused me and with her feminine wiles. Her hips, when they start spinning, you don't know what to do. You see them? They're, you know, incredible. And, and She started dancing, and I just woke up carving in blood six months later. So he either... I was wiggling while I said that. Did you like it? Was I really <laughs> selling it? I'm still feeling it. He either goes to jail himself. We don't know. Turns state's evidence. Or turns state's evidence, yeah. You know, the, so the reason they got arrested is... The other lady in the trailer park sees them and runs and calls the police. Now, the movie opens yeah, yeah. with her going, what is, she says something and it's quite comical. She sounds like a barnyard animal <laughs> or like a cartoon character and the movie opens. She's like, over here, over there, she's in there, you're over there. Oh, and yeah. Like, yeah it's hey, in that trailer. And yeah, so there, she's busted again now. And the guy, you know, the prosecutor's got a real hard on for trying her as an adult. And sending her to the gas chamber. And the, your, your eyes are going to pop. The defense attorney, he's like, man, this should not be me. I'm not like qualified or whatever. And I think it's the electricity that makes your eyes pop. I think the gas, you, you bleed out your eyes. Yes. I think your head implodes. Yes. Like the sub guys. Like a shriveled up raisin. Oh. Like the guy from Beetlejuice. That's, That's what how happened he died. To him. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, she. Gets found guilty. And then she starts doing those hip moves. And, the kid, and she's able to walk right out of the courtroom. And she just completely alters the uh, rate at which the planet is spinning <laughs> and careens us into the sun and kills everybody. Oh, I thought she went to the past and fixed everything like the Flash. That was her intention. Uh, or like Superman, but it didn't just didn't quite work out that way. And so they find her guilty and they're going to send her to the gas chamber. Apparently in like two weeks. So she goes, uh, I'm going to die. He goes, yes. She goes, am I too young? He goes, apparently not. <laughs> and the, and the movie's over. Should it be called Too Young to Die? No. Oh, her friend, the waitress, ends up leaving. She visits her and oh, she goes to Colorado. Yeah, and she goes, just come with us. I mean, you have nothing here. She goes, well, what am I going to do? I'm only 14 still. N- same thing you're doing here, man. Just, you know, have yeah. a good social circle. You'll just be our, like, de facto daughter. A little sister. Both. They're, like, five years apart. True. <laughs> Her husband would probably start taking liberties, though. God damn. She lives a bad life. She's but she gets a bad pregnant, life. the waitress. And yeah. she agrees to name her kid... Um, Billy. Yeah, and I was like, damn, that's... All right, to each their own, mm-hmm. you know? And so she goes to the chamber and dies, and then we just... There's like 40 minutes where she's in hell. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know... Yeah. Too young to die right there. This is a depressing movie. It is. I just felt bad for her, like, the whole time. She just gets fucked over left and right. Yeah. I feel like some aspects of it, I feel like Brad Pitt and Juliette Lewis rise above the TV movie. It really has a very TV movie feel to it. It's wild. All around them. The subject matter and the cursing. Yeah, like the acting. It's like another winner sometimes. It's so bad. Especially Caddyshack. I don't know what they told him to do. You're right. He's very wooden. I Maybe he has a problem. E.D.? <laughs> I was thinking maybe this is like a bad period in his life. He's probably maybe. fine. It's probably a shitty director. We're going to come across a real yeah. shitty director next week. Yeah. Um. I don't know, man. It's a tough one. If we had to give it a rating. Uh, if I had to give this movie a rating? Yeah. I mean, their acting is good. The movie's super depressing. Five? The movie? Yeah. Yeah, I'll go with that. What do you give Brad Pitt? I th- I'll give him an eight. Mm-hmm. I thought he's really good. I'm going to give him a seven. Like, this performance ruins his Thelma and Louise performance for me. I, you know, I'm glad I saw that one first. You, you lucky. You broke the rules, but you lucky. Yeah. What do you give Juliet Lewis? Oh, wow. I actually, I really didn't think about like, a rating for her. <laughs> it's hard, right? I mean, it would either be a seven or an eight. I don't really want to give her an eight because I haven't seen a ton of her work. She's, she's carrying this movie, though. She's good, yeah. And she's doing a lot of things that she probably did not have to, boy. Hey, let's call the two of them crazy eights. Yeah. All right. What are you giving them? Who? The two of them. You say Oh, eights? together? Yeah. 16. Yeah. <laughs> together. <laughs> so that's too young to die, question mark. What, you gave the movie a five also? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. You should definitely watch this movie. Yeah. I with mean- With your family. You should- This should be a family movie night movie. I'm afraid- This would be a, an interesting double feature with Natural Born Killers. In California? A triple feature. Yeah. And Eat, Pray, Love, just to mix things up, you know. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> so, yeah, you know the deal. X? 
Yeah, are we calling it X now? I wonder if it's back to Twitter by now. It'll I've, probably never go back to Twitter. I've already seen articles where they're like, somebody said something on X, the social media site formerly known as Twitter. I'm like, oh, God, is it Prince now? <laughs> Twitter, Facebook, Reddit, YouTube, we doing filmographies. Email us, we doing filmographies at gmail.com. Yep. Do you want to give us a call, Julian? Yeah, I do. 763 634 1897. You can text us too. We never mentioned this before. You can text us. Yeah. At 763-634-1897. Be sure to check out the Now Playing Network at nowplayingnetwork.com. Dot nowplayingnetwork.net. Yeah. We Seriously, bro. We haven't recorded in a while. <laughs> nowplayingnetwork.net. Yep. Check out all the other great podcasts over there. Yep. Movies, music. There you go. Mm-hmm. Tell and them, tell them we sent you. Yeah. Don't call them though. Yeah, if you call them and not us, my feelings will be hurt. That would be pretty bad. We have been doing this for over a year. How, yeah. many, how many voicemails have we gotten, Julian? Uh, I want to say none. Right. Because <laughs> that's exactly right. We'll see you tomorrow. On the 12th day of Pitmas? What is it? Yep. Is that right? I think so. Holy shit. On the 12th day of Pitmas, <laughs> for your pit stop, Yep. on the 30 days of Pitmas, mm-hmm. you get what? fucking across the tracks yeah hey any guesses on what that's gonna be people is it about trains julian you thought it was about trains you were so excited no i i understand what it's in reference to now but i don't think that's it's they're not you know they aren't two people from separate sides of the track no and neither of them are really on the wrong side i mean maybe they are but kind of but not really whatever i thought it was just about brothers i didn't realize racing was part of it i thought it was about a brother's justice brother's revenge and cube gleamage but i guess not brotherhood of justice i think that's a keanu reeves movie really yeah we'll see you tomorrow Uh, bye